Once you've purchased your pump and brought it home, it's now time to install it to your rainwater tank. In this instance, we're using a constant pressure system and plumbing to the garden only. But before we start, remember that by Australian regulations, any electrical work to be carried out must be performed by a licensed electrician. You may also need to check with your local council about regulations or restrictions that might apply to the use of water tanks and plumbing in the area that you live. Now to begin, what you'll need a rainwater tank installed to the manufacturer's specifications. The tank will be fed by a downpipe from the roof scuttering system and will include an overflow. A gate or bore valve at the bottom of the rainwater tank. This valve is very important as it shuts off the water supply at the source. A strainer to collect any debris that may be inside your tank before it reaches the pump. A buildup of debris in your pump can cause damage and reduce performance so it's important to fit a strainer. The strainer has an arrow on it which shows which way it needs to be installed. The arrow also shows the direction of the water flow through the strainer. A flexible one inch suction hose with a union fitting. A union fitting will allow you to easily remove the pump when it comes time for a service or to perform other plumbing work. It will save a lot of headaches down the track. Remember not to use metal fittings in direct contact with the pump. A one inch discharge line with union fitting long enough to take water from the pump to the tap. Plumber's tape available from hardware stores. Plumber's tape is the best solution for preventing leaks. A wrench or shifter. A suitable protective cover with ventilation. The best location to install your pump is close to the base of the water tank. This way the water level in the tank is above your pump. You'll need a flat concrete slab or something similar so you can bolt your pump down once you've completed the installation. Once you have all your tools, equipment and have decided on a location, it's time to start. Firstly, wrap some plumber's tape clockwise around the male thread of the strainer. Around five times should do it. Then attach it to the gate valve using your trusty wrench. I'm using a Y strainer on this job. As you can see it's shaped like a letter Y and it has a sleeve inside. Make sure the strainer is facing down so that when the water stops flowing, debris will naturally sink to the bottom. From time to time you will need to empty the strainer and see what you've caught. Then attach your suction pipe to the strainer and tighten with a wrench. Use a one inch pipe to allow water to flow easily to the pump. You need to avoid using elbows on the suction side of the pump. So this flexible hose is great for creating a more gentle bend. Thread some more plumber's tape on the inlet of your pump and attach the suction hose to it using a union fitting. See how this style of fitting makes for easy removal. The pump is now correctly attached to the rainwater tank. This is the best time to prime the pump. Firstly, make sure the water level in your tank is higher than your pump. Then open up your gate or bore valve. Allow the water to flow through, then shut the valve back off. Your pump should now be filled with water. If your particular model of pump has a priming plug on the top, loosen the plug. This will release any air trapped in the pump body. When you see water flow, close the valve from the tank and replace the priming plug. The next step is to attach a tap to the pump system. Attach the one inch nipple to the discharge side of the pump. Using a union fitting, attach the one inch discharge line that connects to your garden tap. The tap needs to be mounted on a wall or post. This stops the pump equipment from being subjected to tugging on the hose and prevents twisting of your plumbing fittings. Make sure your tap is positioned away from your pump so water can't drip onto it. As we all know, electricity and water don't mix. The last step is to make sure your mains power connects to the controller. One lead connects to the pump, like so, and the other plugs into your power supply. Now our pump is set up to go. Turn on the tap, open up the gate valve, turn on the pump, and in a few moments you'll have water flowing through. You should see both the power light and the pump light come on. Initially, you may get some air through the line which could prevent water flow. 
If this happens, use the air bleed to release it. When you turn the tap off, the pump will keep pumping for a short time to allow pressure to build up. This is normal. In a short time the pump will stop. The pump light will go out, but the power light will stay on. Don't forget to bolt your pump down, and it must be protected from the elements. So use a pump cover like this, that gives protection and ventilation. And that's it. Claytech pumps are designed to the highest possible standard to ensure that you get the most out of your backyard.